Six years ago, this valley was Taliban country, and the Taliban did here what they did all too often across Afghanistan. They obliterated its artistic beauty. The two tallest standing Buddhas in the world, silent sentinels over the spectacular snow-capped valley of Bamiyan for 1,500 years, were dynamited and shelled. What had taken hundreds of years to build, reduced to rubble and dust. It was a very hard time, not only for me, for my colleague, but for, Afghan, for all Afghan people. For the past four years, archaeologists and restoration experts have been cataloging the thousands of fragments from the giant destroyed statues. It's like trying to assemble the world's largest jigsaw puzzle. Bamiyan's governor, Habiba Sarabi, the only woman governor in the entire country, says archaeologists are still deciding if and how to rebuild the Buddhas. But she wants them back. These are the part of the remain Buddha. How many and fragments are there? Thousands, uh, tens of thousands? Yeah, for the small Buddha, 1,500 around. But the large Buddha, it is three, more than uh, 3,000 pieces. So how do you put that back together? Uh, it, it is very hard work, but it's the very uh, professional work. And you're optimistic that this will be one day? We'll Definitely. Yeah. But for now, the Buddhas lie in piles of rubble a testament of the destructive zeal of the Taliban and the difficulty of recovering from their oppressive reign. Peter Bergen, CNN, Bamiyan, Afghanistan.